Alrighty. Where the hell did she go? <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's see. That's not the map button. That was it. Where is she? Okay. None of these are helping me any, and I've no idea which building. <laughs> okay. Maybe if we pest her tour, she'll be able to say, Oh, I saw a bloody bag going there. What the? Hey, ladies. What's up? What's wrong, Reen? You seem awfully flustered. Yeah, if I didn't know any better, I'd say you were in some kind of trouble. It's... well... We'd explain to Tor and Angelica that he was searching for his sister. Your sister? Yeah, I don't suppose any of you... Oh, sorry, I don't suppose either of you have seen her, have you? Not that I'm aware of. But I've been in here talking with Tor for a while now. I see. Hmm, a stunning young beauty from St. Austria. Astria. With luscious ebon locks. And she's Reed's little sister too. So I'm sure she must have the grace of the finest, most delicate flower. So whoever finds her gets to be a one-two prince, right? Absolutely not! <laughs> Angie, this is CDH! Sorry, couldn't help myself. Anyway, we'll do what we can to help. I'll take the oboe bike for a ride around the academy grounds and see if I can find her. Honestly. Um, I'll do... I'll, yeah, I'll do what I can as the student council president to see if I can find her too. I'll call you as soon as we hear anything, so keep searching. Thanks, both of you. Cheers, ladies. Uh, it doesn't really lo lower my list of where to go though. Okay, so Laura's in the gym. And Fee's in the academy field. Uh, I suppose it's... What a shot. I could magically teleport there, but for the sake of remembering what all the buttons do again, because it's been a while, um, I think we'll run. No, seriously, this is how you know it's been a while. My controller is caked in dust. <laughs> My recording schedule is forever shit, by the way. <laughs> I revised the channel, though, full well that this was going to happen again. So. <laughs> Bye bye! <laughs> I want to play the game, damn it! <laughs> I want to play Cold Steel, but I know my schedule shit and it won't let me. It's not fair. <laughs> anyway, hi Laura. Laura, have you been, are you looking for at least who? I am. I heard about her disappearance earlier, and I've been searching for her since. Thanks, I really appreciate it. You should save your thanks until we found her. I was informed of what happened, and between you two. Eh. I'm sorry you got dragged into what should have been just a family matter. Belonging to the nobility comes with countless obligations and complications. And your family situation is more complex than most. I believe I understand at least some of your frustrations. But, uh... However, there's one thing I feel I need to ask you. Could you swear to your sister with your hand on your heart? That your choice isn't simply your desire to escape from that life? Uh... Forgive me, it's not my place to pry. Not least when I have my own hesitations to overcome. Nah, you're right. At least like you've got things covered here, so I'm gonna go look somewhere else, okay? Understood. Let the area to me. What I should point out, and this is relevant to the actual game and not just me belly aching about life. I seem to be doing that a lot recently. Anyway, as if you see, the ladies that had exclamation marks on them are ones in which, if I miss the link, okay, that doesn't quite work out as I thought. <laughs> I was gonna say that the ones in which our links for bonds are highest, but our links for bonds are highest to pretty much everyone but Emma and Macus. So, I'm talking bollocks. It's okay, I'm good at that. <laughs> My bad. Then why did it choose these bears? Interesting. Hello. Hey! Uh, come on the map, you're over here. <laughs> I forgot about the tail. <laughs> I was editing the fucking swimming episode the other day and I pissed myself off. Oh, not, not physically. I died laughing when I saw the fucking tail. <laughs> so fucking stupid. <laughs> Perfect for it. Hi, Pig. No idea either. See? Are you looking for at least two? Mm-hmm. I got a call about what happened. Good luck so far, though. Really? 
Thanks, I appreciate it. Sounds like you had a family spat. <laughs> Did I deal about that, huh? I'm not a noble by birth. Fact is, I don't even have a drop of noble blood in me. I'd always been an outsider to the world. That's why I knew the day would come when I have to leave home, because I don't belong there. Well, not really. I thought Elise would understand that, but it doesn't look like it. Until the others in Zephyr took me in, I was alone too. I've never really knew my real parents, so I understand that at least a little bit. Uh, but they're still family to me. I never thought about leaving them. Why would I? That's the one place I knew I'd always belong. Don't you feel like that about your family? I... Well, it's none of my business, really. Let's just find her. You're right. I'll leave this area to you, then. Thanks, V. Okay. <laughs> As you can tell, using the map to work out what I'm meant to be doing. Uh, I'm chasing my sister. I chased her down some steps. <laughs> Not talking to that one. <laughs> chased her down the stairs and lost track of her. We asked Toa and the student council to check. Angie's doing laps around the campus. Uh, Laura is checking the gym, I think. And Fee is investigating here, there, and everywhere. So, really, the only place we haven't checked would have been the roof, but we were there originally. And the front door. So, this is the front door in my mind, by the way, not the actual door. No, no, no. What am I going to do? Can't find her anywhere. Did she go back into town? It feels like she wouldn't have left the Academy Grands, though. Yo, Reen, what's up? Crow? I'm just looking for someone. Classmate? Or did some second year sweetheart confess to you and you botched things up? Hmm. Yeah, actually, it's my younger sister. She's not a student here, though. Uh, you have a sister? Honestly, I kind of always got that only child vibe from you, you know? Well... Guess that must be who that girl was I saw earlier then. Long black hair, St. Austria Academy uniform, tear strained cheeks. That has to be her! Where did you last see her? He was talking to one of those upper cross boys in white. Other than that path behind the school. That stuck up first year, what's his name? High Arms, I think? Don't you dare start acting like you're above me, Reen Schwarzer. Just because Ymir's lord took you in out of pity doesn't change the fact that you're a nobody without a drop of noble blood. With him? He never think about what would make him happy. I'm such an idiot. Why can't I just be more honest with him? And with myself. Who might you be? That's the uniform of Heimdall's St. Astraea Girls' School, if I'm not mistaken. What brings a lady like yourself all the way out here? I I'm sorry, I... No, no I, I apologize. I, I wasn't accusing you of anything. I... W wait, right, I, I should introduce myself first. My name is Patrick. Patrick Hyams. I'm sure you've heard the name before. Hyams? It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Elise Schwarzer, daughter of Baron Schwarzer. Ah, Elise. Such a lovely sounding name. Wait a second. Schwarzer? Uh, as in, Reen Schwarzer? Yes? Reen is my elder brother. 
Why does she have to be related to that Cretan? But wait, he was adopted. That means they aren't related by blood. It seems you're not on the best of terms with my brother. I don't wish to cause you any unpleasantness, so I'll just excuse myself. No, no, you aren't. I, I mean... Wait! That way! You said you saw behind the old schoolhouse? Wait, which way'd you go? Oh, yeah. Uh, right. Come on. I'll show you where I saw her. Damn, where could she have scudded off to? The old schoolhouse is, um, is usually locked, so I don't think she could have gone in there. Patrick! You. Where's Elise, fuckface? <laughs> you better not have tried to pick a fight with her and scared her off. I did no such thing. I just happened to see her crying, so I approached her to see what was wrong. Then, when she took off running this way, I followed her out of gentlemanly concern. <sighs> Looks like she definitely came through here, though. You think she could have gone into the old schoolhouse you guys poke around in every month? Couldn't be. A lot after we finished up in there earlier. short while earlier. Where am I? What is this place? The door wasn't even locked. A cat? Oh. What is this? It looks like some kind of machine and yet... That cat I saw earlier. I don't see any where it could have hidden itself. No, oh, at least there's something written here. What? an elevator. I must have descended pretty far underground. What's this? A red door? Awfully huge. Maybe it leads to somewhere important. Warp lock release. Initialization complete. 
What? Potential awakener waveform confirmed within 50 agar. Commencing the first try. Elise, where are you? Hmm, no sign of her. Yeah, why do I even have to? <coughs> Elise! The scream! Came from further inside. Came from below. What is this place? Wow, so this is what it looks like down here now. Going down, huh? Alright then, patty cakes, time to lock and look. Don't call me that! Okay, this is the one time I'm gonna say I can do this. Die! Ah! Yeah. That didn't kill him. <laughs> Fuck me! Right, uh. Nice. <laughs> Okay, plan B, punch it. Now. Keep going. Now I should explain. Now. But I don't want to. <laughs> now. Get here, get here, get here. Get here. I'm only going to see that what I'm meant to explain is how many of these I'm meant to actually be able to use. And I still don't remember. <laughs> I should write something down somewhere, but there you go. Dr. B. Anyway, uh, so as such, we're just gonna continue to wail on it until it eventually dies. What are you doing? It just fucking healed. Now. Okay, asshole. We're gonna build 200 and then we're gonna stab you. Now. Because if you do that S break thing when you've got 200, you get an insane butt. I'm gonna die. Now. Anyway, you get an insane butt. Like massive damage. Might actually die. Bro. Now. Anyway. So, do that again instead. Go ahead. I really don't want to have to do anything. But on the other hand, my guy! <laughs> yeah, he's only halfway. Oh. What that? 
What's happening? Is he trying to suppress his power? <clears throat> no, not going to be swallowed by it any more. I don't have a chance of beating that thing, but I have to try anyway. Take back myself, and take back what I lost that winter's day. What? You're not thinking of leaving me out of the action, are you? Take care of the girl, Catastrophe. Don't call me that either! Thanks. I owe you one. No problem. Let's fire up those combat links. Still the best. <laughs> All right. Speaking of combat links, let's do it this way. Not doing anything lower than this. However, I can do this. Ooh. Kill or not to kill? That is the question. I'm going to behave a little bit and build that up to 200. Leave it to Whereas me. Crow, as you see, CP 200. To so watch this. Yeah, you're done. Dude. Cross Raven. <laughs> see ya. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna die now. My turn! <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna kill you. Fuck it. Die! Gather on my blade! You're on fire. <laughs> you shouldn't fight me when you're on fucking fire, you idiot. Burn is the best at assuming. <laughs> GG Jack, it's still here! That's the power of the eight leaves. Anyway, ta da! But yeah, uh, burns the best, I assume, because it does a percentage of their whole health. So you just burn them! <laughs> the best. Now then, the move we did last was his actual Azure Brick. That's his actual S Craft, which you will never see again apart from. Actually, that's not true. I just like using it more often now. Because I should have it by this point. Because if Crow has, a cr has that skill, I'm having that skill. That's how this works. Anyway, here's Crow. I'd finished my crash course in craziness half a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Crow. So you can use Arcus too? Yeah, I was part of the trial program for Class 7. 
That's how I met Toa, George, and Jellica. I see. Reen? Are you alright? You're not hurt, are you? Uh, I'm fine. I just lost my balance when that tremor hit earlier. But thank you for protecting me. Just like you did back then. No, this time was different, wasn't it? I... Yeah. I pulled through. Somehow. <laughs> I'm glad. Here comes the cleanup crew. Reen, are you alright? Is your sister... Oh good, it looks like she's okay. What happened here? A giant suit of armor? It looks like something imbued with the magic of the Dark Ages. I can't begin to imagine what must have transpired here. Well, a tough fight did, at least. You're all here. Ugh, <sighs> good grief. <sighs> I'm so relieved you were able to find your sister and that everyone's okay. She's even more of a beauty than I'd imagined. Oh, I'd love to get some hands-on time with that door and this suit of armor. I swear, it's almost comforting how you guys never change. But hey, what took you, Instructor? Sorry about that. Still, it looks like you guys managed to handle things just fine without me. I take it this big lug came from inside that door? Yes, I was just looking at it when suddenly... Hold on. Let's just give our report starting from the top. Summer Festival, a month after the rest of the country. I'm sure plenty of you out there might be thinking of the concert in the Heimdall Opera House or the Summer Races. But the festival is best known for its opening day events, traditionally attended by members of the Imperial family. This year, Crown Prince Cedric will be making an appearance at the ceremony in Heimdall Cathedral. And his sister, Princess Alfin, will be attending a posh garden party sponsored by Heimdall City Hall. I would have loved to see the Empire's two greatest treasures in person, but alas, I can't get away from work that day. But don't you worry, I'm still planning on winning my bets on the summer races. I'll let you know how I do. If you're not old enough to place a bet, don't worry, you'll be able to make questionable financial decisions soon enough. Moving along, I'm sure by now many of you have heard about the ongoing construction of the giant building in Crossbell State. It's supposed to be even taller than the Rheinford building in Ruhr, making it the continent's first true skyscraper. The latest reports say that construction is almost complete and that it'll be unveiled at next month's trade conference. A lot of you have been writing in about it, so I'll be sure to keep you posted with all the latest. <laughs> 